What's up, YouTube? Rich Fox, if you know me. Star Fox, if you don't. Here with another real review. And today, this one is for the ladies. And you know, we got this bad boy. Or should I say bad girl. Terry Mugler. Alien. Look at that. First, let's look at this, this, this packaging right here. Look like it got a cape on. Look like King Zod. Being very compliant. I like this, man. Alien. Ladies, I like this. Yes. This is the one my wife wears. Uh, and I must say, when she wears it, it really, really get my juices flowing, if you know what I'm saying. This is a good one. I really, really like Alien. Um, so I figured, for the ladies, if you were looking for something to wear, if you don't know about it, from a guy's perspective, i tell you a little bit about Alien, right? So there's the packaging. It looks like a little funky type of packaging. It kind of looks like a, a ruby, but it also kind of looks like an alien at the same time. Got a little cape. It depends on your imagination. I like it. I don't know. I like it. You know what I mean? Look at Pure Mode over there watching her like a little bodyguard. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go to base notes real quick. That's the box. I just want to give you guys an idea of what, what this is going to smell like. So it's Terry Mugler Alien. Let me just get it to focus. Bear with me, ladies. There we go. Base notes. Top note. Sam Bach Jasmine. Heart notes. Cashmere wood. You see, it, now, if you're a sexy lady, cashmere, that's the way your skin should feel. And that's how you should smell. That's how I feel right now. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Base notes, white amber. You know, amber is used a lot because it's well done. Average rating, three and a half stars. I don't know. I think, I think it's a little better than three and a half stars. Smells really good. Um, let me take a sniff of this and see what it smells like. <sighs> All right. So most ladies cologne, most women cologne, right? I say cologne. I should say perfume. Most women perfume has a lot of flowers. So we know Flower Bomb. We know, um, what's that guy? Mark Jacob likes to make things really flowery. You know, and all that good stuff. And, and flowers is what an older, a older lady would wear. Actually, I, I can't say older lady. I personally like my ladies, my women smell like candy. To be, to be honest with you, if I got to keep it 100%, I kind of like the women smelling like something edible. And this is like a mash between flowers and edible. If that makes sense. Like, you know, we could hold hands and walk through the park. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> for, I, I like the scent, ladies. It's a really good scent. Um, let's check some of the notes, some of the comments right here. Right? Now, this thing was created in 2005. So, it's it's been around for about 10 years. But I think it's good. Pause and read it. Let me read it for you guys. This is from Akula, whatever, from Iran. All right, so let's see what the Iranians know. When a man stop you and asks, what are you wearing? It smells great. You know it's worth every penny. You spend, and in my opinion, Terry Mugler fragrances have this sensible characteristic just like Alien. It is dark, slightly dedicant. Dedic what? I can't read. And, uh, and so alluring. In other words, magnetic, woody, irresistible, strong, exotic, glamorous. You know what I mean? Like, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. I like that. Let's take another look. Let's take a look at uh, more reviews. I just kind of give you one, give you the reviews. All right. This one is not so good. This is a maybe. Pause and read it for yourself. I kind of want to stick to the good reviews because personally, I like this one. Let's see. Hickory Smokes from the United States says, while, while testing frags, I stumbled across Alien after loading up several dozen cards and smelling them blindly while at the red light. I was very into the floral scent of it. It does have that mass of floral. I returned the next day when the card, with the card to purchase it and I gave it a test. Wow. This scent is strong and incredibly long-lasting. That's what I want to say. Has great sillage. I mean, once it's sprayed, I can smell it. Once the wind blows, it's like a... 
I'm smelling summertime. I'm smelling. It's like little Miss Red Riding Hood walking through the woods, and the big bad wolf just want to, you know, eat her up. I, I really like this one, ladies. I, you know, it's a perfume, so I can't say how it smell smells on me. I can say on my wife. I can say once she sprays it, if we go out to dinner, we're going out to a, a party or a family gathering, um, I, I would say easy, easy six hours on the skin. It starts to dry down, nice, fresh, powdery, floral, candy. I really, really like this scent. As a guy, I can tell you, I really, really like this scent. Um, age range, I'm thinking maybe 25 and up. If you if you're a mature girl, 22 and up. If you're mature, it's a little more mature. Um, it's definitely more m mature than a pink sugar. It's no jab at pink sugar. I actually like pink sugar, but um, you know it's more mature. So I say 25 and up. Um, it's definitely for a girl that's working, independent woman. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to smell this in a strip club. You probably smell this in school, work. Uh, you probably smell it at the hookah lounge as far as, you know, it's a, it's a certain type of woman that could pull this off. I'm thinking more classy slash maybe hood, meaning you can wear heels and you can wear Jordans with it. It's really versatile. I like Alien. From a dude, let me tell you. Reg Fox is telling you. I think Alien's a go. Sweet and exotic. Exotic is a good word. I think I think it's really ex mm, I don't know. It's kind of like it makes you want to do things. YouTube ladies, Alien, check it out. It, it it's worth the look. I know I'm not really giving y'all a good review, but as far as what it you know what it smells like, I can't really explain it. It's like some alien type of fragrance. It, it's really good. You know, uh, the best feature of this perfume is its wonderfully exotic vanilla. And jasmine scent that last and last a little goes a long way well worth the price love that you can refill it refill at department stores like Macy's or less now I don't know about that I mean I don't know about the refilling and all that good stuff but I can just tell you it really smells good really feminine really sexy but at the same time down to earth right so it's little black dress but it's also your pair of Jordans, it's all your sweatpants and you know yoga pants and all that good stuff. I like that. Alien is good. Alien is good. Let's let's check some more reviews. It's loading up. So if I if I keep scrolling down, you're gonna see a lot more. So you know you guys can pause and read for yourself. Diamond Flame says, A candied floral entity that projects a luminous holographic jasmine for the first 15 20 minutes before it runs out of power. The jasmine sambac is indeed glorious, but the supporting ambery accord is toothache personified. Best to smell alien from a distance where you catch whiffs of laundered, indole free white florals the bottle is something else though like an object from another universe it's sci-fi geeks wet dream i see guys buying this purely for the bottle alone oh, well damn i mean why would guys buy it but i mean i like the bottle <laughs> she she might be right anyway wow i love wearing this jasmine amber bomb sprayed very sparingly it's truly awesome and opens with a blast of wonderful jasmine a bit medicinal I don't get the medicinal and overwhelming if you spray too much, so be careful. The dry down is amazing. Warm, sweet, yet fresh. Amber and jasmine. Woody, cozy, a bit powdery, plus it's one of the longest lasting scents I know. It lasts for days, like the Energizer Bunny. Sultry, original, and bold. Men notice the scent every single time I'm wearing it. It's extremely popular, nevertheless, nevertheless perfect for being a signature. You got it. Femininity and sophistication, one of the of my top favorites. You know, it's no surprise that men notice this fragrance. Pure Malt still watching. Um, 
it really gets my attention. It's not girly. It's not for a teenage high school girl. It. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's, it's sexy. I mean, if my wife was here, I would get her to give her opinion on it. But she's not. She's somewhere in Target or something doing whatever she do. Um, but this is definitely a good one. Um, I've smelled it on other women, and it smells just as good. When that wind blows and I smell it, it's a go. It's definitely a go. This is the packaging right here. Nice little box, purple. You can, you know, pause that and read it for yourself. I like it. So ladies, if you're looking for a new fragrance, or fellas, if you're trying to buy your girl, you know, something for her birthday or whatever the case may be, check it out. Let, just so I don't, I'm not being biased, let's look at a bad review. On paper, it was lovely. Jasmine opening with the rest being Jasmine behind a candy haze. On my skin, it's mostly just candy haze. I mean, candy's good, man. Like, Jezera. You want to smell like candy, baby? Like, come on. Like candy tastes good. Let's do another one. Really a nice fragrance with the Sandbach and Jasmine living, giving it a floral note. The wood sets in later and the amber together with the floral side makes it too sweet for my taste. But it is an interesting scent, although not spectacular. I like it. Terry Mugler Alien. I think it's a blind buy. I think your girl would like it. Um... So 25 to 35, I'd say, is a nice age range if she's there, 85 years young, or, you know, it's really nice. Maybe not for older women. I mean, you know, older grandmas and stuff still like white diamonds, but this is definitely for a younger, versatile, today's modern woman. Even though it is 10 years old, it's definitely a go. So Red Fox, if you know me, Star Fox, if you don't, sorry for the drawn out review, but Alien is a go. Ladies, I love it. Your man will love it. Trust me when I tell you, your husband will love it. Your boyfriend will love it. Um, and you'll love it. I mean, go to Macy's, Sephora, wherever you, it's, it's everywhere and uh, give it a, a try out. Leave your comments. Let me know if you agree. If Alien is the bomb. Shout outs to... King Zod, and all my compliant women out there, y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, Red Fox, if you know me, Star Fox, if you don't, please subscribe, like or dislike. Peace out.